Hello, ISB friends. Welcome, and thank you for coming to this virtual recital of music written for the double bass and electronics. This past year, I've had the opportunity to work with two extraordinary and creative composers here at Baylor who have written the music for this program. While you'll hear from each of them directly before their pieces are performed, I wanted to say just a few words about this recital and the pieces that will be played on it. I'll start with the second piece you'll hear, which was written by my friend and colleague, Ben Johansson, who is Baylor University's lecturer in composition and computer music. This piece is a long simmer that yields a rich sauce. I think you'll find it to be a fascinating journey. At the beginning of the compositional process, I was able to give him access to an inexpensive, poorly set up bass that he was able to explore on. He experimented with various non-traditional sounds as he clearly followed the advice he has posted in front of his studio, which says, follow your curiosity. As the performer, I had the chance to play on two basses and a cymbal while working interactively with the computer. He also put a unique twist on the perceived disadvantage of strings that are an inch off the fingerboard in the final moments of this piece but I want to emphasize no instruments were harmed in the performance of this music. The first piece was written by Max Whittingham, who is finishing a double master's degree in performance and composition here at Baylor. Max is someone you'll want to keep your eye on in the future, as both his playing and written music are truly captivating. He'll be performing this piece for two double basses and electronics with me and I can't tell you what an absolute delight it was to bring this music to life with him. I will offer the usual encouragement for you to listen to this program through good speakers or headphones. There are so many layers to the music that I think you'll enjoy the experience a whole lot more if you're able to hear things through a high quality system. And finally, I've included the websites of both the composers you will hear today and I encourage you to follow their work and to get in touch with them if you have further interest in their music or their compositional process. I hope that you will enjoy the following program. Here is Max Winningham to introduce the first piece. Hello, thank you for tuning in to this online recital, but I'm by Sandra Austin and the ISB. My name is Max Winningham and I'm the composer of Thresholds, a piece you're about to hear written for two bases in electronics. Thresholds is a very personal work that was written over the particularly isolated and reflected past six months. It's an expression of where my mind drifted during the pandemic, and it's an absolute pleasure to have it be a part of this program. As a performer composer, I've typically found myself writing for solo double bass, rarely branching into many ensemble arrangements. This piece was my first extensive foray into including more performers and sounds in the mix, of course by means of Dr. Austin playing the bass one part, and also the electronic sounds that are employed throughout the work. Thresholds is a piece with very specific programmatic roots as well. It was conceived as a sort of exploration of the passage of time and the interplay between acoustic and electronic elements, ideas which I actually found myself fixated on during the pandemic. Compared to my normal lifestyle, I, I noticed my perception of time was warped due to the social isolation and less connectivity with the world around me. I also found that my relationship with technology became more involved and more dependent, as it wound up being one of my primary sources of connection and interaction during this period. At its core, I would say this piece is a musical expression of these changes in my mindset and worldview. While Thresholds was originally written in two movements, we only played the first movement on this program, Past. As the title suggests, this movement is rooted in a deeply reflective mindset it reminisces on a past storm scene, either literal or metaphorical, depending on the listener's preference. In this storm, order and chaos vie for the audience's attention. Finally, I want to thank you for listening to my music and for swinging by, and I sincerely hope you enjoy Thresholds for Two Bases and Electronics.
I'm Ben Johansson. My piece, Bode, is for a single performer playing double bass and cymbal. I had a lot of freedom composing Bode, and so I used a lot of different compositional techniques. I used generative techniques to come up with technical sounding sections that still were idiomatic and sounded random, but stayed within certain positions for the double bass that made it easier to play. I used improvisational techniques by borrowing a double bass and borrowing a cymbal and improvising a great deal along with the computer so that I could um, come up with compelling sections that I liked. And I also used inspiring kind of compositional techniques by sitting down at the piano and coming up with passionate melodies that um, sang and were usable by the double bass at peak moments of the piece. I also broke the piece up into different sections and using different forms. So there are sections that are indeterminate, so they can be from two minutes to 10 minutes long, depending upon what the performer wants to do at that time. Also sections that are fixed media. So I created stuff in Logic, bounced it, and you hear that every single time. Talking about freedom again, uh, even when I was creating the fixed media in Logic, I felt like with this piece I had more freedom than usual. I drug in all sorts of sounds. You'll hear drum sounds, piano sounds, just about anything that I felt fit the piece at that moment. This piece also uses interactive electronics. And so the performer is able to play along with the computer and it sounds different every time depending upon what they want to play and depending upon what the computer decides to record at that moment and play back. I feel that giving the performer more freedom and allowing them to get their eyes off the page during more moments in the piece makes this piece less stressful for the performer and allows them to listen more. I hope that you hear sounds that you've never heard, and I hope that this is a compelling piece that engages you. Here is Bode.